Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. Got another shave of the day. Today we're using Hendrix Classic Shaving Gunslinger. Mmm, now this one is a scent that is hard to pin down. It is just like a wonderful scent of, we got tobacco, vanilla, uh, spicy woody notes just coming across. It's just like, I'm, I was hard pressed and like, man, what do I use for aftershave with this thing? It was like, one of the ones I thought about getting instead of the uh, Southern Comfort, but I went with the Southern Comfort. Now I kind of regret it. <laughs> I was like, man, I could really enjoy this one. And it's like, then you'd have the splash to go with it. And if I do get another, this would be top of the list with the splash. It's like... You're, you're trying to pin it down, and you're like, oh, I'm not sure what I'm smelling. And we're going to use the fourth use of the RK Blades with the Rockwell 6S. Yeah. But why would you put a powder coat on a chrome? That's that's why, or how I remember it now. S instead of C. S. The essence of it all. All right. And then we'll follow up with some Avon Wild Country. I was thought about Avon Spicy. It was like, man, it was like that'd probably be a good one too. The comp. This is more of a fougere. The spicy might have been a better choice, but I was like, eh, what the heck? Going with my gut. We'll see how it works out. Yeah, it's like uh, this gunslinger just has so many notes to it that it's like it's hard to figure it out. Oh, here we go. Oh, how's your day going? Mine's going. It's like, look at that. It lathers up nice. Added a bunch of moisture to it to, and just kept soaking it up. And it's flopping all over the place. Ah. Oh. Into the bowl with you. Oh, what's everybody up to? Not much around here new, really, to be honest. Just playing with my 3D printer. I got a... I think in the last shave I shared a picture of my project. My daredevil. I've been printing all kinds of miniatures and stuff for it. I need to look. That's one thing I, I keep forgetting to look for. Somebody has had to have made a file. Maybe somebody here knows. Of Man, it's working good. It's nice slick. Almost like a... Well, the vanilla is kind of... Reminds me of a bourbon vanilla that you get with wood oak, wood oak cask. It's kind of what I'm smelling. With some um, oud, spicy notes coming across. But I was going to say, somebody has that had made some. STF files for making like uh, razor holders and all that type of thing. I print myself something out just for the heck of it. I need another. It's like I have uh, ones that hold. Uh, they're toothbrush holders, and they hold six razors, plus I can stick one in the middle. But they're metal. I'm curious, somebody made something I can use that's long. I got, it's about a foot spacer 
or I can just, if I can make something that's like rectangular with lots of holes in it so I can put all my brushes and underneath put the uh, blades and stuff. Residual slickness. <clears throat> Good soap. No, I was just thinking. It's like I'm thinking gunslinger is like a little bit of uh, spent uh, powder. You know, so ever smell the cartridge when you're out shooting in the range, and you pick up the spent cartridge and you go, uh, smells like victory. <laughs> I, I totally understand. It's like you ever watched the movie Deadpool? He uh, dumps a whole mag out of his uh, autos, and he goes sits there and goes, ah, "Hey, that's what." Yeah, I got a bad habit of doing that myself. It's like the the smell of a spent cartridge, you know, the burnt powder inside is like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Uh, something I've experienced. I remember the first time I was like four years old. My uncle and my dad were out shooting clays, getting ready for uh, duck hunting, you know, waterfowl season. And they were, we were. Going out, the kids, you know, they were all helping out. And shotgun shells come flying out, and we were collecting out because my uncle reloaded. And they'd be done shooting, and they were getting ready to reload, and he'd go collect them all up, and I was like, that's like one was hot, and it's like, whoa, I like this, it smells so good. <laughs> And you're out, and it's like in the military, it's like you just cook off about 300 rounds from the 50 cal, and you got all that brass from the 50 cal laying around, and yeah, you can smell it. Smooth. It's still some there, but it's getting reduced. Man. Almost like a pepper scent coming across, too. Anybody remember, I'll try to. We got all the scents are that are in this. Maybe I'll, if I remember right, put them up at the beginning. Blade's working good too. Still got the upward stroke right through here. It's not reduced it too much. But the residual sickness is good. You add a little bit of moisture from your hand. It's like slides and glides. Good stuff. That's excellent. Excellent, excellent soup. I like it. Oh, that reminds me of hunting. Uh, some of you probably knew I took a trip over to Wyoming. It was like my, over the, on the, uh, you know, the, we took off on the first. My brother, his truck, you know, last time he went out, they go out to Colorado and Wyoming and 
Idaho, Montana, and go snowmobiles. So, you know, sledding everywhere. And one of the times you're going out there, his engine blew on his truck, on his Nissan Titan. And <laughs> it was under warranty. They brought it into the shop and they, uh, uh, so, okay, it's under warranty. We got to replace the engine for you. So they did. And they were test driving. <laughs> and then the engine that they were, uh, replaced it with, it blew up. I'm like, okay, that, that's like fine. And so that's on us. You now the dealership will have to just get you in the other one. It's under warranty. So they replaced that one. <laughs> and that one blew up too. I'm like, uh, is that a sign of something that's like you're not supposed to be driving this truck anymore? And so they got a new one, replaced it. And we're, we're talking brand new crated engines, you know. It's like, uh, what the hell? And so they put the, the new one in, and it seems to be working fine. And they called my brother up and said, yeah, we got it worked out. And... <laughs> They had it for three months. And he's, he gives me a call. He's like, because my other brother was supposed to go out with him. He sleds with him all the time. And they were going to go out and then drive the vehicle back. And my one brother decided, eh, I don't feel like going. I don't want to make that trip out there and drive all the way back by myself. That's so boring. I don't want to do that. And he gives me a call and he goes, oh. Uh, can you help me out? And I said, like, wait, what's the problem? And he told me the situation. And I was like, really? Okay. I'll, I have to rearrange some of my life around. But yeah, I can do this for you. No big deal. And I was supposed to have help my mother-in-law with her. She has an eye appointment. She gets injections put in her eyes for keep her eyesight going. She's like 86. And so I got that arranged, had someone else take care of it, and I said, like, yeah, I can go. Said, okay, so we took off. It was fun. It's like at the time, you had the tornadoes and everything that were hitting Iowa, and we were driving through uh, western Iowa, and it was like snowing. <laughs> it's like Tornado's on the other side of the state, and we're getting snow on the other side. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was like 75 degrees when I left Des Moines, and by the time we got to near Omaha, and it was like 38, I think. The front row there. So we're driving all the way across uh, the Nebraska desert, as we like to call it. Seven hours to drive straight clean across one state takes you this little box, a little over seven hours. And that's at 80 mile an hour. But it wasn't 80 because uh, hauling a trailer, which is rated for like 70 at most, I think it was. So it added some time to it. But. My brother said, this is the worst part of the entire trip. There's nothing to see in Nebraska. You're right. There's nothing to see in Nebraska. As you're driving on I-80 heading west, you're, it's like the Platte River is like this. And you're just driving over the Platte River the entire time. So you get a little bit of water here and there. It's like here in Iowa, we just call that a creek. But we're smack sandwiched in between. We've got some bigger rivers going through our state than the Platte River. And everywhere you went, there were birds. They were flying north, getting ready for the season because it's warming up. And we're talking hundreds of thousands of birds of every type of waterfowl imagine we we're driving along and my brother was like what are those those geese great geese and i'm looking and it's like maybe and then all of a sudden i realized 
Those aren't geese. Those are cranes. There are thousands upon thousands of cranes. Literally just covering fields. I'm used to seeing cranes, but not in the thousands. It's on thousands of them. Tens of thousands. You know, like, yeah, I might see a handful here or there. You know, they're all situated, but yeah, there's a lot of them. Snow geese, Canadian geese, ducks, every imaginable type of duck. And at one time we were like right next to the interstate. Probably seen a thousand uh, wood ducks. I'm like, holy moly. You're lucky if you see one, you know, every once in a while. Or like a pair or someplace. Whole freaking field was just covered in them. Colorful. I love the look of wood ducks. If you've ever seen a wood duck, look it up. It is like colorful. If we're ever gonna get a duck mounted, put it on my wall, it'll be a wood duck. All I have is pheasants. Any day they'll get my partridges. I got a bunch of mounted partridges I mounted back in the 80s. My parents have them along with my fish. I caught a uh, sunfish that was just a few ounces short of the state record of Minnesota. I had it mounted. It was big. I remember pulling that thing in when I was just a kid. I was like nine at the time. My grandfather looked at that. He was like, whoa, that is huge. And I was like, I, I, I never had to fight a sunfish before. <laughs> that thing was a beast. Oh, wow, that is a good shave. Man, that's smooth. That Rockwell did a good job with that RK blade. Even on the fourth use, it just wicked that right off. It, oh, did I say it? Was a, I'm setting four. Kind of liking that setting four now. When I first started using it, I wasn't too you know big on it because maybe it was the blade I was using with it. But the RK blade just seemed about right. Oh, that's nice. Little bit of a Avon wild country. Nectar of the gods. So I gotta say thanks, Sig, for the razor. That is a great razor. Ooh, that is an interesting combination. You get the greeny notes coming just bam in my face, but the wood scents that you usually get with wild country are this kind of spicy note are, are um, lowered in strength because your nose gets used to those. But I'm smelling the um, the powdery green notes coming out of the wild country. Which makes me wonder. Uh, which is this? I forget. Got to look at the labels. I, think I haven't used this one very often. Is this one spicy? No, it's Thai wins. Oh, maybe this is a spicy. No, nope, that's Thai wins. Yeah, maybe I'll give it up. Yeah, that would not go together at all. After your nose gets used to a certain sense, well, I got it's probably still in the box. Oh well. Okay, we'll just live with it. Maybe next time I gotta try it with uh, Avon Spicy. That might be a, a slightly better choice between the two of them. But all right, so that was HC and C's uh, Gunslinger. Man, excellent. So. 
It's like when you, oh, tobacco, yeah. Really, the tobacco, kind of a tobacco leather coming across. Definitely smell the vanilla and the oud. But the wild country is like overpowering it now with the green notes. Yeah, good stuff though. All right, so that was the RK Blades fourth use with the Rockwell 6 S from Sig Solo. Thank you very much, sir. Always appreciate using that razor. And it just gives me a nice smooth shave. A little bit of glitching on the face. Wasn't too stingy either. It was like I had a little bit right here. That was about it. So, good shave. All right, so that's the shave of the day, everybody. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.